In this video, we are going to learn a new feature of Blazor 4.6 and that is that now you can work with select with a multiple attribute in a really easy manner. When a select has the multiple attribute, it allows us to select multiple options. Let's see that. Let's go to the solution explorer. Let's go to pages, index, and let's make an example. Let me delete this and let me say here example one basic usage and let's get to work in the first example we're going to have a simple div and then a select select one or more cars and then we're going to say this select and as you can see here we have a select which has a multiple attribute which means that we're going to be able to select multiple options here now let me create this unchanged method let me say here code and I want to create a variable here. I want to say public a string array selected cars get and set new a string like this. Now let me create the method private void selected cars change it. And we're going to receive an events a change events args e. And then we can say selected cars. I need to cast e dot value and that's it with this we are putting the selected options here in the array and then we can access that value from wherever we want for example let me put a button here button submit and let me do an on click here on click and i will say handle submit now let me come here private void this and then I can say something like for each car in selected cars console right line car and now I can press ctrl f5 to run my application and we're going to see that we're going to be able to select multiple options from here for example Audi, Opel and SAAB let me press f12 submit and as you can see we have these three options being displayed in the console great but not only that we are not limited to using on change in order to update this variable we can use a bind if you remember from previous tutorials a bind will allow us to synchronize the value of a control like a select with the value of a variable let's see that let me paste this here as you can see we're using bind and we have selected cities here and multiple and let me create a selected cities variable down here below these selected cars and as you can see we have some default choices like ball and c so this will be selected by default in our select let me save let's rebuild and apply changes and let's go back to google chrome and as you can see we have baltimore and seattle selected by default and not only that, but I can come back here. Let me come back to handle submit and let's do the same, the same for each, but this time for city. So city and selected cities. And let me say console right line and let me say city. I will comment this out so that we don't have that in the console anymore. And let me put a semicolon here. And now let me save. Let's come back here. I want to refresh just in case. And let me choose Portland also. And in order to select another option, I have to first press the control key and then click on the option. Then let me say here, submit. And as you can see, we have the three options displayed in the console. Now, as I said, this was example one. I want to make example two, which will include a validation. So let's see that. Let me say here, example two, validation and forms we're going to create a model first so let me go to shirt i want to create the class here so let me say order pizza model we're going to pretend that this is an application for ordering a pizza let me create an enum here public enum toppings and let me say here pepperoni ham corn and mushrooms and now let me put a semicolon here and in here I will say prop toppings array toppings 
And let me say here, require control dot to bring this namespace. Then we're going to say mean length two and then mean, or should I say max length three. So this should have only minimum two toppings or maximum three toppings. So one and four are disallowed. So let me put here a default value, which is going to be just an empty array. Now let me go back to index and let's get to work on this. First, I need a model. So let me say order pizza model control dot to import this namespace, the model new order pizza model like this. Then I need to come here and create the edit form. So let me say the following, let me paste this code and let's just analyze it. We have edit form, we're passing the model that we created here. We have data notations validator so that these validations that we have here are applied. Then select the toppings, minimum two, maximum three, input select, bind value. I am binding the value of this input select into this toppings property of the order pizza model. And not only that, but look that we are not explicitly saying that we want to use a multiple select, but because toppings is an array, then Blazor knows that this input select should allow the user to select multiple toppings. So here we have our four toppings, and here we have the validation message for the property toppings, and then we have this button order. Now let me handle this submit method let me create here a private voice submit which will only be fire if the validation of the forms are all met so let me say for each let me say topping model dot toppings and once again console right line topping and that should be it let me save and let me rebuild and let's see that now we have a form with validations now as you can see we have pepperoni ham corn let me say pepperoni and it says that the field toppings must be a string or array type with minimum length of two obviously you should customize this error message we can do that right away because that message is not really useful for normal users so error message and let's say you should at least two toppings you can use here a placeholder so that this will be replaced by this number that we have here and the same for max length error message you can only select or less toppings that should be it let me save rebuild and apply changes and let's see that now if i select ham we have you should select at least two toppings so corn for example and it works if I select all of them, then we have, you can only select three or less toppings. So let me select ham and pepperoni, and let me say F12, let me say order, and here as you can see, we have pepperoni and ham. So as you can see, we can use multiple with selects in Blazor 4.6. Thank you.